Hello, thank you for joining in for another Tremble Earthworks uh, video. We're going to talk about system settings and kind of introduce you to that. System settings menu, uh, it is a tablet with a gear wheel on it. We'll go ahead and select it and we'll go into it. <clears throat> so we'll just kind of go through some of this. So an overview for the machine, uh, the first tile you got your machine set up. So in here, this would have um, whatever guidance or positioning source uh, options, positioning options that you would have for your machine. Correction source would be the actual network IDs um, that are stored in here or, um, you know, for your base and for your equipment to talk. And you have uh, your different attachments, uh, if you will, for here, for, um, for this uh, excavator. So next in the menu would be your system status. System status uh, is also accessible through the dashboard. So this is all of the onboard devices on your machine. And right now everything is checked green, which is great. And that's what your machine should uh, look like as well. If it's not, you will see a red X and uh, one or more options here on your uh, devices at which point you can select it. You can go to each one of these items and it gives you a brief description. It gives you the current model, the current firmware, mode, the precisions, satellite counts, integrity, and your latency. Licenses, this shows everything that is installed as far as licenses and software on your device. You can next configure the interface. So here you see layout. It says three views. You have light bars, text ribbon, dark background, and overlays. So you can change the way the screen looks. You go here, you can change it from one view to two views to three views. And then you can identify which view you want to display uh, certain information. Light bars, you can configure your light bars here. The text ribbon. This text ribbon is configurable for the operator. If there is, uh, if, 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 if it is lit up yellow, that means it has been selected. If you want to go to it and deselect it, you can deselect it as such and to add you press and you add just keep in mind that they will display in the order in which they are selected here next we have dark background we can toggle between a light and dark background now this this affects you in the uh, in the operator screen and the map screen Overlays gives you the ability to turn the machine on or off. You can turn the attachment off or on. Your vertic ver uh, uh, vertical guidance point and your focus point, you can turn it on or off. And now with um, version 2.0 for your points, you can actually include not only just the icon, but a name and a code. For each of the points that you have selected you can turn the attachment floor on or off this is for an excavator and your crosshairs you can turn on or off so getting down to the configuration this is where you would change your units so a lot of machines uh, after install they may or may not be configured the way that you want them configured. If you select units, you can go in here and you can change any of these. Uh, your distance A, main fall B, cross slope, you can change them. Drop down the box and it gives you some uh, some choices here. Personally, I like US survey foot and I like my slopes and percent. So that's where you would go ahead and, and, and change and edit those uh, those numbers, those those uh, units. 
increments. So the operator uh, can now go into here and change increments. What this means is each time the operator depresses the buttons on his joystick for his uh, vertical offset or cross slope, um, he can change the increment. So each time right now that the operator would uh, change his vertical offset by using his joystick and his button, it would change three hundredths of a foot. So you can customize that um, to to whatever whatever you need, whatever whatever works best for you as the operator. So you have your grade tolerance for your light bars to for horizontal, vertical, for your light bars. You can configure your light bars um, how you want. Calibrating your heading for your sensors for your excavator. This will be done in the web interface. GNSS correction source. This will be the list of network IDs. If I have multiple network IDs, I will have three dots here. I can drop it down or a box I can drop down and it'll show me all the available um, network IDs that I have. And if I want to add a network ID, I can select this advanced button and follow the prompts to create new network IDs. Okay, uh, precision tolerance. So your machine will come to you uh, by default in medium. You have fine, medium, and coarse. This does not affect the way the machine works. If you want more information, you can hit the information icon here and select see more for more information on how these settings work and how they apply. File transfer. You can sync from commu uh, connected community, import to machines, export from machines, and custom file import to machine. Then you have language settings. And then finally, you have a system buzzer. So you can turn on a buzzer to sound when you are above grade, on grade, below grade, or all of the above. And that concludes this period of instruction. Thank you for listening.